Welcome to Valence Developer Diaries number 22. And today we're gonna go over app to app communication between your uh, Nitro App Builder app, apps. And Sean's gonna walk through that with us today. I'm gonna hand the screen sharing to Sean and I'm gonna mute myself and then jump in if, if needed. So I'm gonna stop sharing. Okay, hopefully everyone can hear me all right. Yeah, so if, if you can't just put something in the chat, please. Okay, so as, as Johnny mentioned, we're uh, gonna talk about a new feature in App Builder, which enables you to have your applications uh, communicate with each other. Um, we created uh, some wireframes here just to kind of give a better idea of what, what, what we're trying to accomplish. So let me just go here. Okay, so we created an app called Orders. It's really simple, just with a couple widgets of information. And we have a button for new order. So when I click new order, we're going to launch another app that's just a customer list. So this app, all it has is just a grid in it. And we just want this app to be used so the user can select a customer. So I'm gonna click new order and that's gonna launch. So we're gonna have both apps running. That's gonna launch customer lit list. So when they click a customer, we're gonna do three things. Um, we're gonna set a couple app variables to save off the customer name and the customer number. And then we're going to fire an event. This is part of the new feature. And we're gonna fire an event called customer selected. And then we're gonna automatically close this application. So, so when I click a row, it's gonna fire off this event. It's gonna close. And then this orders app is going to be listening for this customer selected event. And when that event happens, it's going to change its section to go into the add order section. You know, the app bar title is gonna change. It's gonna use the customer name that was selected from you know, our, my, the customer list application. And then it's gonna filter down a form based on the customer number that was passed to us via this customer selected event. So let's just walk through it. Um, I'm gonna go into App Builder here. I already have it running. Okay. So let me just go here first. I'm gonna launch the orders app because we already have it created, but we don't have the uh, any of the stuff completed to for the for the app to app communication. So this is all we have. New order does nothing right now. So let me go into the orders application and you'll see we have our main section and we have our add order section. Okay. So first thing I wanna do is get the, uh, the new order button to launch an application. So launch app and I'm just gonna search for my customer list and that's it. Let's just save this, save this save. So let's just make sure that that part is working. So when I click new order, it's launching the customer list application. Okay. So let me go back and we'll continue on. So now I'm going to focus on the customer list application. So really simple, it's just a list. But what I want to do is when they click a row, I want, to I want to save off some app variables, I want to fire that event and I want to close the application. So actually let me create those app variables first. So I'm gonna create an app variable called customer number and an app variable called customer name. Save those and back to behaviors. So row click, first thing I wanna do is I wanna set app variables, 
customer name I want to set to C name from the row that was clicked and customer number with the uh, customer number here. So that's the first step. Next, so you'll notice this new menu option here, fire event. All it needs is a name, customer selected. So I can fire as many events as I want. It doesn't mean anything's going to happen. Um, something will happen if another application is listening for this event. And when you listen for an event, you can do, you know, you do something when the event happens. So just have that uh, description, we'll just do uh, DD22. Save. And then the last thing I want to do is I want to close the app. So I'm just going to go here to utility and one of the utilities is close app, save. And let's save it and save it. So now I'll launch the orders app again. So now we just want to make sure really that the app is closing. So I click this. And then I click a customer and then the app closes and goes back here, but nothing happens. So what I want to happen now is I, when that, when that takes place, when that event's fired, I want to change sections here and load that customer to, to add a new order. So I'm going to go back into app builder now, and now we're going to focus on the orders app. And if I go into behaviors, You'll notice up top, there's a new section called event listeners. So I'm going to click here, event listeners, and I'm going to add a listener. So this will show me a directory of every single event that's fired throughout all your nav apps. So, you know, we only have one customer list application fires an event called customer selected. So I'm going to click that. That's the event that I want to listen for. So. I'm listening for the customer selected event from the customer list application. So now it's just back, you know, business as usual. It's just regular old behavior. So first thing I want to do is I want to filter a widget. I want to filter that customer form to the customer that was selected. And I'm going to map it Cusno. And you'll notice here, these are our app variables, but we have a new section here because I'm listening for an event called event parameters. And you'll see the event parameters are those app variables that I created. So I'm going to map Cusno to customer number. Save that. Uh, I'm also going to set the app art title. Let's say add order. And then there it is again, the event parameters, customer name. And I'm also going to hide show widgets. I want to swap sections. So I'm going to hide the main, show the add order section, save and save and save. So let's launch the orders. So new order. So now I'm going to click this and we should see we got our new app, our title, the section changed and it filtered down the results uh, based on the parameters that were passed from the customer list application. So that's, that's, that's basically, that's basically it. I mean, you know, you, you can use it, you know, in, in, in other ways, obviously. You know, maybe you use it, um, you know, based on something happening in one application that other widgets in your application should refresh their data, you know, based on something happening in another application. In this case, we just simply reused and said, let's create an app that's just used as a selection. And then anytime they select something, pass that information. Um, and, and just so you know, any app can listen to this event. So, you know, it's, it's if I go, Back to App Builder and go into, you know, what's another application we have? You know, there's there's many apps can listen to the same event, is my point. 
So that's really it. I don't know if there are any questions, feel free. Oh yeah, so this is available with the, the latest build. So 2020, 2021, 818.1. All right. Hand it back to you, Jenny. <laughs> okay. Well, if there's no other questions, um, I think that, that ends our 22 session. So thanks. And um, we'll have this up on our um, YouTube channel probably today or tomorrow. Have a good day.